All right, welcome back to the City Countdown. It's time for us to speak to our esteemed guest right here on the Spotlight segment. I'm excited to talk to this young man because we've seen the great things he is doing in his own small way, adding to the overall value chain of the music industry here in Ghana. He's a very exciting talent for that matter, and I'm also excited to talk to him. So you guys will get to know him. His name is Malcolm Nuna. Yeah, man. What up, Maji? Number nine, we're in the building, yeah? Yeah, in we're the, in the building. building. Do people Black actually Brown. realize or identify you as number nine when they see you in town? Because um, Malcolm Nuna sounds very, um, you know, it sounds very posh. Um, I, I feel like I've, I intentionally put the Nuna there. So right. Once you get the name, you some way know that. Yeah, it's number nine. I'm family, you, you know. So Nuna, Nuna is actually ever? Yeah, Nuna is ever. What, what, what Nuna, Nuna, my name is Malcolm Nuna. Nuna. Nunana. Yes, okay. Nunana means gift in Ewe. So that's how I sing Nunana. Say. Oh, yeah. that's where it's coming from. Yeah. So. Are you related to Feliduna in any way? Um, <laughs> we are all from the Volta <laughs> region. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it take a while for you to like respond Yeah, to because that? She's, she's family. She's family. Yeah, she's Have you guys family. tried to work together as, as family or even as um, artists? We haven't met each other in the studio yet, mm. but... We meet each other we in the water other. region. Water region right? Yeah, we always bump into each other some some way. Some way. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you still in school? Yeah, I'm still in the school. The last I checked, you uh, you were in Ghana National. At, yeah, um, and now I'm in UPSA. Yeah, UPSA. Yeah. How's it going? Um, it's 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 stressful at times, but I'm I'm doing my best. Combining music and yeah. and school. What are you studying in school? Business administration. Why business administration? Um, I did business in SHS. So right. I'm like. Man, don't switch it. Let's just do the business else. You get confused somewhere. And it's, some, it's something I already had, like, background um, knowledge about already. So As in your just... family were, like, you know, great business people and you want to continue in that stride or... No, as just, in... It's just a natural acumen that you have. Yeah, as in I, st I studied business in SHS and it, it went well for me, so... Just want to continue. Yeah, I just want to continue and add it to the music. I'm so, doing it. so music is not going to be the only thing you're going to be feeding off from. Is that is that what it is? Yeah, probably not. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't think I want it to be only music. Like, um, a great person once says that after ten years, you shouldn't be doing the same thing you were doing. So, wow. So for money, you, so for you, music is not going to be the thing for you. Um, music is the passion. Right. Music is the passion. But right. after ten years, I should have gotten enough from music to do other stuff, or you understand, to branch myself into. Like just to hold my ground, mm. you know. Yeah. Because so, so well, you are you are picturing yourself to be like a, in the next ten years, be in the PDD status, Jay Z status, where you know you don't just do music as an artist, but the business of music you bring out. Yeah. Of, help. Like, what are you looking at? Um, yeah, I feel like um, after ten years or after a time, I wouldn't particularly say ten years, but after a time where I'm very comfortable and gotten as much That's as much gains easier, yeah. and i feel like i can help other artists that, like me mm. make it easier for mm. um ghanaian artists mm. to get mm. to get like to be rated as big artists you know like that's what i feel when do you do you think as an artist now do you music in ghana in this space where we are faced with a lot of economic crises and you know accra hard to put yeah. it in short do you think it's a lucrative environment to do music um, yeah, I feel like it is because what else, what else is going to push you to sing, mm. to sing like music comes very naturally, you know, to and you, like music should come, should like, come naturally to very you. naturally, okay. like experiences and stuff. Mm. So if mm. you're not going through all this hardship, what is going to make you mm. write the music? Like mm. what is going to make you sing about something? Mm. So I feel like. The hustle is everywhere. It's, it's, it's not actually just, oh, because of this hustle, it's not going to mm, make me mm, be creative. Mm. But I feel like that should be your push to be creative. You, you, know? you, you have been singing since you were eight. Yeah. When yeah. I read uh, on you, you've you, you, yeah. you been singing since you were eight. Now, I wouldn't know what kind of songs you were singing about at the yeah. age of eight. But having grown into who you are right now, what would you say I like your major major inspirations to 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 put out music or when you get into the studio what's what's going through your mind how has that you know been a true reflection of you as an artist um well first of all from you, so you're basically asking like what inspires me to write music Perhaps. okay and even going beyond that go beyond yeah. that um i feel like everything that happens outside the studio mm. or inside the studio that's what pushes me to write 
the music is as i said like mm. my environment what is happening what i'm seeing mm. what mm. i feel mm. what the beat makes me feel mm. you know it's there's no actual formula to what makes you write the Writing music, music. Mm. yeah but there are a lot of people that inspire like i look up to like when i'm writing music and or push me to actually want to make music mm. yeah now you you are in a, a generation of um fantastic talents you know you know in football uh, many people would have said that oh um if there were other footballers playing in messi and ronaldo's era it would be unfair you are in the situation you are in a generation where you had the likes of black sherry vr talk um coffee jama you know, exciting talents you know, do, do you think this is the best time for you to do your music or you think maybe you should have waited just a little bit um <laughs> 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 and of course the sky is big to host everybody but personally do you do you really think that look i'm in my best period my best time this is the best time for for me to do the music or i should have done music earlier or um, should I do music later? well as you said i've been making music since i was eight so i don't feel like there's any other time for right. me to, to make music you right. know like it's an everyday life thing. I don't. Mm. This, music is not a nine to five that you have to complete university to, or to you need it. a degree mm. to do. It's like it's it's passion wise. It's like what I grew up listening to. Like that's what I'll say. So I don't. And it's it's, it's a time that everybody has like their time their that time. Mm. like that you're gonna like harvest from what you've done. Mm. So all the time that I've been making music, it's all practice, practice, practice till the time that you reach. Your mm. peak and God feels like yo, this is your time for mm. you to, or you're ready, or when God feels like you're not ready, He's not gonna give he's it gonna to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you have you have um you have already dropped an album, Hasta La Vista, right? Yeah. Talk to me about that and why Hasta La Vista for 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 a first project. Um yeah, Hasta La Vista was the title of the um, the, the album. album. Yeah. I titled it Hasta La Vista because. Recording the album was mm. a phase in my life mm. from SHS 1 to SHS 3. I, I released the album like days after I completed wow. SHS. Wow. You know? So that means so whilst you were in your final stages of SHS, you were working on... I was on recording the album from my second year. I started recording wow. my second year. While I was year. preparing for your exam. While I was preparing for my exam. That's exams. crazy. Crazy work rate. Yeah. So after La Vista also basically means until we meet again. That's right. So I was telling that part of my life that until we meet again, I'm done with that part and mm. I'm ready to face the, the world the itself. World, right. Yeah, and and as I said, I was listening to music. I, I had a passion for music since I was like very young, very young right. and I grew up listening to albums, albums from um, Beyonce, Jay Z, wow. you know, and that's and that's what I saw. So I felt like yo, like I used to look up to this guy, so. Like my first like leg into the game, I it's an album I want to make a statement mm. with, you know. Do you think you made a statement with the album? Yeah, I did I mean, make a statement. Per the reactions and per the feedback you've gotten so far as an artist, do you think you made a statement? Yeah, I did because at that time everybody was doing EPs, they were going with the trends mm. and they were doing EPs, but I just wanted to keep it as as much as it you had. A, you had about what, seventeen, 17 songs songs. On that album. Yeah, because that's what I grew up seeing. Is that, is that how much you have in you? Like, because um, seventeen makes me think you actually had more, but you wanted to cut it down to seventeen. Yeah, true. So are we are we going to expect like a part two of it since you had some left out? Um, let's see, let's see. Maybe. Oh, you think you've uh, grown as an artist since then? So definitely, your sound is going to change. My, yeah, my my sound my sound has changed, but right. it's it's there in the keep. So the 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 older it, it grows the the more the, the more better like bringing it out it will be yeah. let's talk about your your latest single what you're promoting right now um the last the la I mean, when i was coming here i was just listening to your last single which was talk talk which had black sherry via talk and uh, coffee jama i i feel you guys were angry or something like what's going on like were you guys trying to send a word that like hey charlie yo you guys just need to leave us alone we are here we're taking over what what, what was really the message because everybody seemed to have like some serious you know aggression to 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 the approach in terms of the verses they dropped you especially you talked yeah. about something around you know <laughs> i'm not going to say this because they're, they're not paying for it but <laughs> yeah. but you know what i'm talking about but yeah what was the idea behind talk talk then we segue into your current single um well talk talk i don't i don't even like totally remember how talk talk happened but mm. all i remember is that we were in that we were in Kumasi at that time right. that was just when i dropped 
um, Asa La Vista. Right. I went to right. Kumasi, Kumasi for a, a tour, tour, and then we're just there in the in the in the house, and we we're recording mm. random songs. Like we we're just in the in the kitchen mm. recording stuff, mm. and I think the beat for Talk Talk came in, and then. We were just rapping. Vibing. We were just vibing, honestly. Wow. Talk Talk was just vibes. Like, I, I felt it was supposed to be a cypher. We recorded it thinking it was going to be a cypher. And yeah, that's how it happened. It wow. just happened like that. There's no story. Let's, let's talk about your right. new single. I wish I had time to really go into other details. But let's talk about your, your, your new single. What do you call the new single again? Benzo. 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 Mercedes Benz your favorite car or something? <laughs> it's, it's my favorite car, I ain't going to lie. Oh. But it's Benzo, like, is it Mercedes Benz your favorite car? What was um, the inspiration behind Benzo? Ben, <laughs> you see how you threw so many questions yeah, at me. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. So which one do you want to answer first? No, the one that you think is, is okay, good for um, you. Know? At this point, I wouldn't say I have a favorite car. Any car you give me, I'll call it. Charlie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Any car you give me, I'll call it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the inspiration, Benzo. So Benzo, I was in Kumasi again. Again? And, and mm. I was in Kumasi again. This time I was in Yao Tog's house. Mm. And we're just having a very random day. Mm. And it reached the point where we're like, oh, we haven't worked the whole day, so let's mm. just go to the studio mm. and go and vibe. Mm. Yeah, so my producer was there, Swati. We were playing beats, just listening to the beats, picking the like beats we wanted to use. And mm. We weren't getting any beats, so we just dropped it. And, and that my, was it. My producer opened his pad like he wants to play a new song. So so he created a new beat Yeah, it was, so he was doing his own thing. I was on my phone texting, and I was texting this random girl. And then it reached a point where we we're supposed to introduce each other, you know. And that was it. And, yeah, and then I was introducing myself. She was like, Do you drive? And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I drive. But that question was bait to know if I had a car. Or the something. lady was asking if you yeah, drive. Yeah, oh, oh, my Ghanaian queens. <laughs> yeah, she was asking me if I drive. But I was I was very hyped about it because she was a very nice girl that mm, I saw. Mm. So I was like trying to shoot my shoot your shot. <laughs> shoot my shot. Oh, Charlie. So I, I was very hyped about hey, yo, bro, the girl see this, the girl see this, the girl see this. So do you drive? I was like, no, um, yes, I drive. So you own a car? I was like, yeah, my label car. I was like, oh, it's not your car. I was like, oh, if you have. If you own a car, come back when you own a car. You don't have wow. a van, so come back when you own a van. This actually, no, like, yeah, it was like, like, I'm telling you. And then we were all struck. Hey, I'll see you. Charlie, you heard the man. You heard the man. Malcolm Nuna talk about his latest single. I'm sure the story should be enough inspiration and encouragement to go check out the new single. Malcolm, where can we find the single, and where else can we follow you on all social media platforms? Um. On all social media platforms is Malcolm Nuna, M-A-L-C-O-L-M-N-U-N-A. Mm. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. Snapchat, I'm mm. very interactive. Mm. Mm. Um, just let's vibe, let's just get very interactive. And Benzo is out on all streaming platforms too. Go check it out. As If you type Malcolm Nuna, just add Benzo B and Z O. You see my songs there. You see all my other songs. Yeah. And make snaps with Benzo. Send them to me on my social media. I give you my social media. Snaps, make snaps of Benzo. Watch out for Benzo. All right, you heard the man. You heard the man, my community. So let's check out his brand new single. <laughs> hey, Galama, we're your boy. We'll be right back. <laughs> Benzin, Tiguano, go, 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 go